So, Meg, you want to make pterodactyl noises. You know what? That is an admirable goal, and I applaud you for your efforts. Or at least I would, but if I did, then in clapping, I would, like, knock my phone across the room. So, fuck it. Good job for you. Uh, so, the first step is, it is not an exhale, but an inhale. I don't know why, but that's the way it works for me. Your mileage may vary. Uh, the second step is actually to close off your throat as you are doing it, but not entirely because you still want air to pass through. That's how you get the screeching sound. So it's, you know, it's sort of a, a act like you're choking to start with, sort of a <gasps> that kind of a thing, right? But as I say, don't close it off entirely because, well, then you might choke and die and we're all your friends and we don't want that, so don't do that. Yeah. Uh, but rather, sort of loosen your throat just enough th so that you can continue to send air through it. And as you do, vocalize. Make noises with your throat in the same way that you would if you were just making noises, exhaling, but this time you're inhaling and constricting your throat as you do so. Sort of like... <laughs> Now, as you may have noticed, in moving my mouth in various ways, I can get different tones and neat screeches and things of that nature. But uh, other than that, just just kind of experiment. You know, go go crazy with it. And I, I do mean go crazy with it because the weirder you look doing this, the less you're probably going to get those kind of responses. Um, and if all else fails, carry a brick in your purse and crush their fucking skulls. Yeah! <laughs>